up? Game from Powerhouse Miniatures, how you doing? Back again with some of the new uh, Games Workshop Technical Paint, uh, namely Spirits Down Red, the new technical gel from Games Workshop. So it came out, I think this weekend or you know, the, of June 2016. You're probably watching this at least uh, at some point after I filmed it. And yeah, just wanted to talk a little bit about it. So I've got a heavy weapons platform for 40k Eldar. You get them in the the Guardians boxes and stuff. Um, there's been two layers of Vallejo Model Air Chrome on the left. Um, this one, and then left to dry. Uh, obviously primed black. So the idea with these ones was, it was a really quick way for people to buy a silver, the Stormhouse silver that I released, and then basically make gems with one layer, where you would put the... the it's called a gel, technical gel. And you would put that over the silver to create a really quick gem effect. So when I bought it, I had a look. I don't I mean there's, there's four. So they released the Stormhost Silver, a very chrome silver, which is really good. And I would buy one of those just for the the, the colour itself. But really, really similar to Vallejo Chrome. Spiritstone Red, Waystone Green, and Soulstone Blue. So it's all like Eldar themes and stuff. I'm sure a Spiritstone is like one of the Waystones from, uh, uh, you know, in the Eldar, from the Eldar army. So, yeah, it's one of those. So... It got me thinking about it, and uh, when I saw the paint itself, and I had look like it's really thick. If you have a little look, um, it's on the inside, you know, and it is. Um, it it really is just like one of the clear paints. So the Forgewood clears these ones. The uh, so this is Sigismund yellow. Some of the airbrush ones, they're really thin, and obviously it is meant for the airbrush. Um, so you could probably get away with using it like straight out of the pot sort of thing. If you've got like a pipette, which is what I use for them. But this one in particular was a gel. So I just wanted to show with the brush a little bit. Again, the platform's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I've got 10 gems. So I've got uh, six different paints. So I'm got, I'll show you a few different ones. So the Spirit Stone is the one that I would normally use. And I'll show you that versus Tamiya Clear Blue, Tamiya Clear Red, Tamiya Clear Green, Gilliman Blue Glaze, which looks quite cool. And then Blood for the Blood God, which is one of the ones that I... Um, uh, it's pretty much a clear red anyway. That, that, those two are really, really similar. So, and obviously, people before Games Workshop released that technical paint, they used to be here anyway. So, first, Spirit Stone Red. Um, I had a little test of these downstairs earlier on, and I think that the best way to do it is to just go straight out of the pot, just like that. You don't water them down or anything. So, I'll do the first two with that. Like so. There you go, right. And then, in the last one, I kept putting my hand in front of the camera, so it got like, it completely un kept unfocusing the shot. So I'm going to make sure I don't do that on this one. So yeah, hopefully you can see that in the middle. It's just not, um, it's thick, I'm just not bothered about it. And that's what you're supposed to do. So again, I've got a bit of glare, I'm going to uh, I'll try and sort that out. So that's pretty much it. Like, they just say, you know, glaze it over the top of a silver. And uh, and there you go. So it looks kind of cool. Like, it's got a, a metallic luster to it, obviously. Which comes through from the thing underneath as, uh, as the clear paint does. So we'll try we'll try the blue one. So these, in particular, the uh, Tamiya ones, I've had for years. So it's going to take ages to get all these off. <laughs> there you go. So these, these are a bit thinner. Um, but in terms of the effect, um, they stink as well. Got a real smell to them, the Tamiya colours. Let's just try and pick this up without touching any of them. So I'm going to do the centre one in the blue. Reapply that. So again, you know, quite thick straight out of the pot. Looks pretty good. Uh, I've got to say, I've got 10 gems in 6 colours, so I can do 4 of them twice, 2 of them once. Here's the red. A very distinct smell. Um, not unpleasant as such, but... Yeah, just... Uh, they've got their own smell, like Vallejo paint, you know, they all smell the same. Very similar to that. So again, this is just, just to show it off, like I said, this is just a bit that I've got. So making sure they don't go out of focus. We've got this one. So like a darker red, and I'll do two of those so you can see. And I'll do a side by side there, that and the uh, the blood for the blood god one.
Uh, green now from Tamiya. Really do like the Tamiya ones. Really useful. I've had this for about a year now and it's still like, you know, 75% full. I'll talk, I'll talk about that in a minute, but I think the uh, the Games Workshop ones are going to be the same where you end up, uh, you keep them for a long time. So I'll do two of these so you can see. That one looks really nice actually. The uh, the green. Again with the Tamir one. So the uh, Games Workshop ones will be very similar, you know, it's, uh, as a technical sort of a thick gel paint. Uh, See, so these are a bit thinner, and the the ones like Blood for the Blood Garden and the the uh, Soulstone Red, they're both going to be quite similar in terms of uh, colour. Uh, sorry, in terms of consistency, slightly different colours, but obviously in terms of uh, the gel-like nature, they're going to be quite the same. This one's Gilliam and Blue, just to show, and then so one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so that's it. I'll just do another one in uh, in Gilliam and Blue just there. So, I'll take a few minutes to dry obviously, but straight away, hopefully it's not glaring too bad, and then there. So, the Soul Spirit Stone, Spirit Stone Red there, it comes, the metal comes through underneath, and it might need a second layer. Um, the Blood for the Blood God one in particular, or the, uh, so the Tamiya one there, it's kind of repelled a little bit, and it might be something to do with the different, different brands of paint. But in terms of the the, the Spirit Stone one, there's, pro, there's pros and cons to it, right? The pros are that you're going to have the pot a long time. It's £2.30. There was no chance of them releasing it any cheaper than £2.30, basically. That's that's like the price for them. But obviously, because you're going to use it very little, unless you've got a full big Eldar army or something, you aren't really going to... Uh, I mean, that's going to last you a long time. I don't know how long, obviously. It depends. But that's going to last you a long time. And compared to the Tamiya colour in particular, it's gone on a lot thicker. So that's the comparison, um, and I think obviously you could just put two layers on, but if in terms of speed, that's what it's going to give you. It's going to give you like an okay effect, fast, basically. And if you go back through now, and it's still wet, it might cock it up a little bit, but if you go back through with the chrome again, um, you might, you know, but, you know, put some reflection spots on or something right at the top, just like that. Um, maybe across the bottom or something, I don't know, like little dots. You've got a pretty good effect there that mimics the layered effect of like what you would normally do with the gems in a f you know an absolute fraction of the time so that's the pro i think that it's good value for money and it's very very quick and of course uh, if you're a beginner or like an intermediate painter no and again obviously it's time consuming to do the gems in the official sort of layering way but also it's it's not it wouldn't say it's complicated because if you know how to do it it's not complicated but certainly for a beginner, it's just a, a, a way easier to do that. So yeah, so again, we'll spin it around and you can have a look at the green ones. So Vallejo Chrome and then the Tamiya Clear Green comes out really well. Um, so you can see them on there. And again, with one layer comes in a really uh, really similar effect. Now, I didn't know what Gilliam and Blue would do. I just saw that we had 10 gems on this thing, so I thought, you know, might as well just try them out. Um, and obviously it dries slightly uh, in a much more matte way, and it goes on less, you know, it's... Uh, it's, only, it's one of the glazes, isn't it? So it's less, but the green one's gone really well. And again, if you've got, oops, if you've got the, um, the silver dot at the top, you know, got the old uh, reflection spots in, that'd look really good. So I'm really pleased with that. The Blood for the Blood God one, though, just this one, the one that went on, <laughs> the one that went okay, turned out really well as well. So again, compared to those, if you want a darker red than the Spirit Stone red, and you're going to use those, I would say use Blood for the Blood God as well, because it gets a darker colour. Um, but really similar in terms of consistency, it's just a slightly different colour. Otherwise, the uh, I'm sure all the technical gels, really good, really quick. Like, but like I said, if you, if you know anything about your painting, you're probably much better off to use a um, the standard layering technique and build up your colours that way. Uh, and yeah, Vallejo Chrome is almost exactly the same colour as the, the new silver that they released for them, but I'd get the silver anyway, just... Uh, just because it's like a good colour, always good to have different ones in your range. So that's pretty much it. That's my review of them. Um, I'm going to buy the others. I'm going to buy the silver and then the other three, or the other two, um, technical, waystone and then the soulstone, green and blue. So I'm going to have the, the full set of three. And then I won't stop doing my gems that way, basically. But it's always good to have in your arsenal. Like I said, some of these ones, the technicals, uh, Blood for the Blood God, comes in handy for things basically unexpected. 
So yeah, always good to have a different string in your bow and all that sort of stuff. But um, in terms of it being like a high quality, what you're paying for in terms of quality, you get back in like the time saved doing it. So good for beginners, but all of that. So that's pretty much it. Cheers for watching and have a good day.